My name is Morgan McLean. I'm a director of product management on the Observability Cloud. In particular, I'm responsible for two main things. Uh, the first is how we get data into the Observability Cloud. Uh, so that includes OpenTelemetry. It also includes uh, our APIs that we receive data with and any other data collection methods that we have. Uh, the other thing I'm responsible for is a lot of our cross-cutting user journeys, cross-cutting UI. So that includes much of the look and feel of the console itself, uh, as well as uh, like authentication, identity, and the, the large scale user journeys that customers take through the suite. So telemetry is the machine data that we capture from customers, infrastructure and applications and other sources. Uh, it is the information that we need in order to provide our customers with uh, great analytics on uh, how their services and infrastructure operate, how they connect, uh, basically everything that we offer inside of the observability cloud, or indeed in the rest of Splunk, has to be generated uh, from this machine data. Uh, this is commonly called telemetry. There are other names for it. Uh, but this is think of if you want if, if you want to think of like what this actually represents, uh, this is logs uh, as used in Splunk Enterprise and and uh, uh, observability cloud. This is also distributed traces and metrics and network data, uh, metadata from cloud environments and and things like that. So Open Telemetry is a somewhat new open source project. It was started I think two years ago, uh, and it uh, aims to to capture this telemetry, this machine data from customers' applications and infrastructure and other sources. Uh, this, if you're not familiar with this space, you might sort of naively think, well, this is easy. We just go like write a simple agent and pick it up. It turns out that this is incredibly difficult, especially for for uh, some of these different data types like distributed traces. Uh, the reason is, uh, unlike logs, if you, if you want to capture traces or application like endpoint metrics from, from an application, uh, you need to integrate on a number of different levels. Uh, you need to integrate with each operating system. Uh, you need to integrate with every single app, uh, language runtime. So think of like the Go runtime or the JVM or the .NET CLR. And finally, you need to integrate with every single uh, possible client library or, or software library that customers are using that generates the telemetry you're looking to get. This results in tens of thousands, if not even hundreds of thousands or millions of combinations of things we need to capture data from. Uh, and building and maintaining these on, uh, on our own as a vendor or having even our customers do this is simply not feasible. And this is the reason, like if you look at the APM space over the years, uh, even the, the, in the past, the so-called leaders like, like uh, AppDynamics or New Relic or Dynatrace, they only would have supported a subset of technologies or languages or operating systems that customers needed to capture data from. And this is because even though they had large teams, it was really, really difficult to provide all the hooks that customers needed. Uh, and so OpenTelemetry is an attempt to democratize this. This has a number of advantages. The first is obviously just the breadth of sources that, that we can capture. Uh, and analyze. Uh, and, and the next is because we have a large community of contributors of, of, of us and, and our, our partners and indeed some of our competitors and, and, and customers of, uh, and end users of this information, uh, we have a lot of people working to produce this. There's a number of other advantages for, for users of this. You can use multiple tools at the same time. That isn't possible if you're using some proprietary instrumentation. Uh, and uh, you also just uh, are able to uh, instrument sources that were never instrumentable before. It's really exciting being part of an open source project and, and especially open telemetry at Splunk. Uh, obviously, I've been with the project since the very beginning. I'm one of the creators of it. I, I was the, the leader of Open Census when we merged it with Open Tracing to go create open telemetry and put it in the CNCF. Uh, so I'm somewhat biased in this perspective. Uh, but it's exciting to be to be working at a place at an organization that is so gung ho about it, that is so uh, truly enthusiastic about the potential of open telemetry, about how we legitimately want to make it a better project. Uh, and not just use it specifically in ways that benefit us, but no one else. We're, we're not sort of being sneaky with it, and I really appreciate that. Uh, and it's exciting to see the doors that OpenTelemetry has opened with customers who are extremely excited about it. And, and uh, especially, I think there's a lot of benefits to us positioning ourselves as the, the best vendor, the best technology to use to process data that's captured with OpenTelemetry. I think that this is both ambitious in our end, but I think it's also extremely achievable. And when we look at the the broader ecosystem of, of customers and partners and others, we see that there's a ton of momentum behind this project. And it is not lost on people that Splunk is both one of the biggest contributors, uh, but also one of the best uh, uh, solutions that, that a customer can have if they use OpenTelemetry, one of the best places to send their data so they can get a great end-to-end -end view of all their infrastructure, of their applications, uh, so they can best better understand how everything interacts, they can detect outages and, and perform all of the tasks they would expect uh, with a solution that, that captures OpenTelemetry data.